Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how to register your course units on the students portal of Makerere University. If you are new to this channel, my name is Richard Nizaimana, a coordinator at CIS and the chief coordinator. So, first let's understand what central what registration of course units on the students portal means. Every semester a student should register their course units that they are doing in on the portal to indicate, to tell the university that I'm doing this course and this semester these are the course units I'm doing. So after registering them, they are also reflected on your examination permit so that you will do the exams of the respective course units. And if you didn't register the course units, you will not be allowed to do their exam. So registration of course units means indicating the course units that you are doing for that particular semester because every semester comes with its own course units. So within this video, I'm going to guide you step by step on how you register them successfully. So the only thing you have to understand is that when you are a first year student and a first year student and you are in semester one, registering course units, you won't be able to register them before submitting your files at the college for central registration. You f you have to first go at the college with your files and other requirements that are requested from you to register so that you first get entered into the database of the college and then you can be able to go on your students portal and register your course units respectively. So I'm going to guide you step by step using your phone on how you can register the course units as long as you have already submitted your files at the college and you have been entered into the database of the college. So without wasting much of our time, let's start. The first thing we do to register the course units on your students portal is coming to your Chrome browser. Chrome is the most convenient browser. Then we shall search for Students Portal Makerere. You tap up here and we search for Students Portal Makerere University. Then you log in into your Students Portal as usual. Of course, this first, this first website that has appeared. You put your student's number and password. It's 2300. Put your password. After putting your password, you log in into your student's portal. So when we have opened our student's portal, this interface that appears has two pages that we can see. One is here, enrollment, and the second one we see is registration. So to register course units, we shall click on this registration page. When you click on the registration page, it loads the course units that you are doing. In the first section, we have year one, semester one course units. So if you are in year one, semester one, you choose them from here. You can see we can scroll. All these are in the category of year one, semester one. We have year two, semester one. All these are in the category of year two, semester one. We have year three, semester one. And all these are in the category of year three, semester one. So you can see in each category, we can scroll and look for any course units. If you want to scroll, you scroll from the back, from the sides. So this time we are registering someone in year one, semester one. You all know the course units that you are doing that semester and it's advisable to first note them somewhere so that you don't make a mistake. So let's start with foundations for year one. The first foundation is EDT, which is Teachers Professional Ethics. And we shall choose normal paper. So you, when you click on a course unit, they, they ask you, is it a normal paper, a retake paper, or a missing paper? So if it, a retake paper means it is a paper that you, you are retaking or you are redoing. But if it is a normal paper, it is a paper you are doing for the first time. You are going to sit for the first time. So when you click and they ask you this, you click on registration status, you say normal paper, and you say add course. We get curriculum. Registration status, normal. That's what you keep repeating, add course. Another foundation is EDS. Say normal paper, add course. And the other foundation is psychology. You have to check the course codes. It is PSE 1101. Say add course, normal paper. Then this person is doing economics and Kiswahili. So we shall look for course units of Kiswahili and economics. Kiswahili, the person is doing KSA 1104. 
we scroll down to get KSA 1104 Kiswahili Writing Skills 1 no more paper and Kiswahili 1103 Introduction to Kiswahili Structure One one zero seven is here. Normal paper. Add course. One one zero eight. Normal paper. Add course. So after selecting course units, you can scroll from the side. Don't scroll from here, so that you come down. This is what fails most people. It is scrolling from sides, not from here. When you scroll from sides like this. You can be able to come at the end of that page so that you first confirm the course units which you selected. As you can see, they show you action, the course code, course title, category, like the <laughs> course units, and the status, then the study year. That means you come here, if you selected the wrong course unit, you can say remove, you can see remove button. So we can check EDT1101. Calcium 1101, EDS 1101, PSC 1101. You check both the names and the code. If you select the wrong code, then that's a wrong paper. So we confirm Kiswahili course units and we confirm economics course units. Introductory microeconomics, introductory introduction to mathematics for economics. So when you have confirmed that they are right course units, you can see the register button here. Register button. So when they are the right course units and you don't need to remove any, if there is a wrong course unit, you can remove it and go back up by scrolling in the sides and select again. After, have, after you have confirmed that they are right ones, you can click register now. Wait for it to register. Registering. So here you can see you have been registered successfully. When you have been registered successfully, the portal will immediately show you print proof of registration. So if they are showing you print proof of registration, that means you have already registered and if you need it, you can print it. Then if you have already cleared the tuition as well, they also show you print an exam permit. If you want to know how to print an exam permit, we made a video and its link will be shared in the comments below. So if you want to print the proof of registration as well, you can print it from here and you can get a guide from the video that I have put in the comments section. So that's mainly how we register course units on the portal. If you have got any challenges, you can let me know in the comments below. And thanks so much for watching. Yeah, welcome back from the short video on how to register your course units on the portal. I hope you have successfully registered all your course units. If you have got any challenges, please let me know in the comments below and I will respond to you. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.